The following is a paid program by the Whitley Law Firm. Welcome to Attorneys on Call, the program that gives you free legal information from the Whitley Law Firm. Now, here's your host, Drew Smith. And welcome. Thanks so much for joining us for this edition of Attorneys on Call. At any time during the program, you can call the 800 number or go to WhitleyLawFirm.com. It's a great first step if you think you might need an attorney to represent you either in a workers' compensation case or possibly because you were seriously injured in an automobile accident. And that's why we're here, because over the next 30 minutes, we're going to answer a lot of questions you may have. And think about this. Many of us are involved in automobile accidents, whether it was our fault or someone else's fault. But did you know that at many times you don't need an attorney representing you? However, those that are seriously injured definitely need an experienced attorney representing you. And that's why we're here today. Ben Whitley and Whitney Butcher from the Whitley Law Firm are here. And great to see both of you today. Good to be here, Drew. Um, ben, there are many cases where you've told me over the years that, you know, a lot of times people will call the firm and you'll tell them, well, you don't really need an attorney. However, those people that are seriously injured or have a medical claim like that definitely right. need an experienced attorney on their side. Yes, they do. And you know, that's what I'm excited today about today's show is that we're going to talk about the five things that you need to know when selecting a car accident attorney. And then we're going to talk about the five things that you need to know when selecting a workers' comp attorney. So we'll get to that later in the show. But, but what we're committed to doing on this show, as we have been for the many years that we've been on the air, doing this show is that we want to provide free information mm -hmm. information such as being able to select an attorney but we've also talked about things you need to know when you've been involved in a car accident and of course we can't talk all about that today so that's why I do encourage you as a viewer to go on to our website which will periodically be on the screen mm -hmm. where you can get a lot of free legal information and learn a little bit about all the different cases that we handle whether it's some of the pharmaceutical bad drug bad medical device cases to car accident cases and some of your questions will be answered right there on the website. We also have free consultations and I think that's important for folks to know. When you pick up the phone and you call us Drew, it's a free call. We're not going to charge you anything. Mm -hmm. I, sometimes I'll give folks advice. I'll say, look, you don't need me as an attorney. This is how to handle your case. And I'll give them all these points. They'll say, gosh, thanks. How much do I owe you? And I say, not a thing because it's a free call. You know, and it's and I think that that's important to provide that information mm -hmm. because as you are sitting at home and you may be thinking about having to need an attorney, and you see so many advertisements on TVs mm -hmm. for all the big retail law firms, uh, folks get stuff in the mail. Everybody has an opinion, and gosh, you go on the web, you go on Google, and it, it, some people even think that there's way you can Google how to handle cases on your own. <laughs> right, and, right. And you're getting all this kind of information. <clears throat> yeah. It's so it's so available to us on our phones now. So. This is an old-fashioned medium, which is TV, so we're here with straight talk telling you what you need to know. And on the website, you can watch videos right there on the website, right? That's right. You know, we have a YouTube channel that's got different videos that you can watch, all the different productions that we've done in the past, such as some, form, some other um, attorneys on call shows that we've talked about various topics. Mm -hmm. I, and, and my dad also did a, a whole series about what you need to know if you've been in a car accident. And that's available online as well. So we're, we're here to give you as many resources as you need. And of course there are cases, and I would say the minority of cases, where you need experienced help to handle your case. We're going to talk about those cases today and we're also going to talk about what you need to know in selecting an attorney. Whitney, what, is, uh, what do you like best? about representing people? Well, I mean, Drew, it's really a, an opportunity to step in when someone has been hurt. They're at their most vulnerable, probably one of the most difficult points in their life, and they're turning to you. Um, they're asking you for help. What do I need to do? I'm going in and having a hip replacement surgery next week, and I'm scared. You know, obviously, your medical treatment, that's going to come from your conversations with your doctor. But there are some things that you can do with an attorney's help that, that you need to know. And it's really empowering our clients, um, helping them be their own advocates, and then standing up for them um, when no one else, you know, really will. When you get that first call and someone calls and, and wants to speak to an attorney, and uh, there's probably a lot of trepidation in their voice, uh, I, I would think that it would be... Um, it, it's incumbent upon you, I guess, to, to really kind of be calm with that person and try to answer a lot of those questions. And as Ben said, I mean, that first call is free. It's a, do, do you get people saying, well, gosh, if I, how much is this going to cost me? Yeah, ab absolutely. That happens all the time. One of the things I like best about our firm, um, you know, we've done 
a good job, I think, you know, obviously I'm biased, in kind of keeping the small firm family mentality. So I'll give mm -hmm. you an example. Um, I obviously handle a lot of the metal on metal hip cases. So a woman called recently and she had spoken to a couple of big national law firms that she's, you know, you see kind of the quick. The ones you, the big TV ads you see everywhere. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. For, you know, metal, call metal on metal hip attorneys in wherever okay, across sure. the country. So she called and we talked for a little bit and she was like, you know, I've spoken to several other law firms and you're really, she was like, well, you're the only attorney that I've spoken with and you've honestly taken the most time to explain this to me and I finally feel like I get it. Now, that's not saying that, you know, I'm better than anyone else, but we do a good job of making ourselves available to talk to potential clients. You know, mm -hmm. that it's not, you're not just a number, you're not just gonna kind of be thrown into the system. We're gonna remember your name, we're gonna remember your case, I'm gonna remember that she has surgery in two weeks and we need to be, you know, ramped up to help her with that because she right. ultimately decided to, to move forward and have us help her. Okay. Um, but okay. now, all those phone calls, even if she would have decided to, you know, choose one of the national law firms. Um, any conversation like that is, is obviously free, of course. Ben, do you, do you get that a lot where, where people, I can't get my attorney to call me back or I can't even get to a real attorney, I'm talking to somebody else? Right, and, and we know for a fact that some of the retail firms uh, in this area even have what are called intake attorneys, okay? So these are attorneys whose job it is, their only job is to talk to new potential clients on the phone. So you may call one of these retail firms and you get a lawyer, but that lawyer has never had experience trying cases. Okay. That lawyer is not going to be the one handling your case. Mm -hmm. That lawyer is going to hand it off to someone else right. that may have that experience. Yeah. I'm not saying that they don't, but it's just that's the difference that we offer that the first lawyer that you're going to talk to is going to likely be the lawyer that's handling your case because we handle it as a team. Um, and so you're going to be able to get that direct interaction because one of the things I remind my clients all the time is they'll say, uh, you know, Mr. Whitley, I know you're so busy. I don't mean to bother you. I remind them, I'll say, hey, look, you're my boss. I work for you. You can call me. You know, mm -hmm. you're paying for my time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be available for you. Right. And so I really think that is what cuts the difference with our firm. Oh, when you say you're paying for my time, but not, I mean, in essence you are, but as you've always said on the program, that when you're representing people like this, that um, it, it's at the end when you win the settlement. Is glad, when you yes, get paid. exactly. And, and, that, and I'm glad you <clears throat> clarified that because right. they're not paying me until we win the case. And right. we only get paid if we win or, or we win or settle the case. So, um, Ultimately, they're not paying anything up front. You know, we're not charging a retainer fee. And of course, consultations are free. And right. so, but what we were talking about, of course, is if they've hired us. So, yeah. But the point is, is that I work for them. Mm -hmm. You know, my time is their time. And, and that's what they expect. And that's what we make sure that we give them. You know, Whitney, uh, you handle a lot of like the medical device cases that you talked about and, and such. And a lot of those involve women. So uh, I, would, I would assume if a, if a woman is watching the program right now and she's got a question about, let's say, talcum powder or something like that that has gone on or vaginal mesh, she knows that she can speak to a female attorney, which probably would be easier conversation. Absolutely, I, I have learned that you know over the past couple of years that I've been handling the dangerous drugs and, and the medical devices that the women's issues, they're just, it's a lot more comfortable to talk about it with another woman. I mean, you know, a 40 year old who used talcum powder and then has to have a hysterectomy earlier than she would have because mm -hmm. she gets ovarian cancer, that's something unique to a woman. And so being right. able to explain that, um, and I can, you know, really sympathize. Um, Taxotere, the hair loss, um, Taxotere is a breast cancer drug that causes, we believe, permanent hair loss. So, being able to hear that as a woman, what that would be like, even though you beat cancer, but now mm -hmm. you kind of have a, a scarlet letter for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. You're, you know, it's hey, I'm a cancer sur survivor forever. That is something that that's really unique to a woman's understanding. And so I, I feel like it's more comfortable um, to to speak with these things about another uh, with another woman. And I'm always available, and you know, going to most likely be the the first person that you talk to if you call in with one of those women's health issues. When we come back, we're going to talk about the five things you need to know when hiring an experienced attorney to represent you in a serious car accident case. Back with more on Attorneys on Call in just a moment.